Yeah, here what we're doing is we're trying to simulate the pixel you'd see on a display, computer display, TV display, whatever. As you can see, we've got um, red, green, and blue filters, just colored film, strips cut together and sellotaped to the back of the card. And the front of the card is covered in aluminum to not allow any light to come through. Now, what we've also got behind it is we've got our light source, our white light source, okay? And what we're gonna do is just gonna simulate viewing a pixel on a TV screen, okay? So we'll just turn the light facing us, that's it, and we'll offer the, um, the our pixel to the front of the light. And we'll, as we can see now, the, a lot of people think that when you zoom into a TV screen, um, you'll see the pixels, RGB, and then that proves that the, it's the RGB that make the white light. Now here we're actually demonstrating that what's happening is essentially um, the white light is overexposing the colors. So as we move away from the screen, or as we move away from the pixel, it turns white, it produces white light, because the white light is overexposing the, um, the actual colored film. But as we're moving closer, we're creating a darkness between the camera lens and the screen, or the light source, and it, we, we can actually see the colors of the filter, and we don't see the light from behind. And this kind of uh, provides supporting evidence for our view that essentially white light does not make RGB. White light is stained with RGB to produce the colors that you see on a TV screen. And this um, exemplifies it very, very well indeed. Yeah, you can control your white light um, in order to um, vary the colors that you see that are displayed on the, on the screen. So irrespective of what TV you have, whether it's an OLED or an LED TV, they will always use white light, the intensity of the white light to help produce your color. Without the white light, there's no color. Now, if you think we're wrong, just prove it wrong.